what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the spoiler free review for bodies 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 this is the latest a24 horror movie horror comedy movie i'll label it and it's directed by helena rain written by sarah delapi and this movie is following or centered on a group of friends if you can even call them that <laughs> it's in an isolated family mansion a group of rich 20 somethings decide to play bodies 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 a game where one of them is secretly a killer while the rest try to escape things take a turn for the worse when real bodies start turning up setting off a paranoid and dangerous chain of events so bodies 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 Honestly, this is a very disappointing movie if you want a, a good slasher who done it. But it's also a very funny movie if you just want to watch a mixed bag of buzzword buzzword heavy dialogue or hit or miss performances. It's literally a mixed bag of all those things. It is very self-aware for sure. It wastes no time referencing all the current trends like Tinder, Twitter, and TikTok, for instance. The characters are highly unlikable across the board. I see what everyone was talking about in some other reviews I saw. You literally are given no reason whatsoever to like these characters. It's just that they all are very interesting. The personality that are given to each of them and the glimpses of solid acting that you have in the movie keep you engaged for the long haul uh the movie honestly again is just reeling you in by keeping you engaged on just how incompetent will these characters prove themselves to be and then it builds to this final twist that's taking one last jab at gen z since we know this was the target audience this was marketed as the scream for gen z scream is the superior movie i don't think anyone's shocked to hear me say that seriously though the performances again they're very hit or miss as is the dialogue i'll go into the cast really quick before i continue you have amanda stenberg who stars as sophie maria bakova who stars as b mia harad i might be saying her name wrong who stars as jordan rachel sennett who is the standout to me stars as alice chase wonder stars as emma pete davidson who i was completely shocked at how good he actually was in this movie stars as david and then lee pay stars as greg all of these characters have almost no reason to be friends with each other besides inflating their own egos due to their status in society and if this movie set out to illustrate that your group of friends are actually snakes in the skies then job well done because there are a lot of groups like this where these people really have no real business to be friends other than yeah just again inflate their own feeling of self-worth in their economic status so sophie is a recovering addict she is one of our main leads then you have when i say she's a recovering addict you can literally think rue from euphoria <laughs> b is sophie's girlfriend and then you have sophie's friends who make up with the rest of the supporting cast this movie does a great job at, at establishing that these people have no reason to trust one another there's several different things that get brought up as far as secrets and drama that give you reason to see why they don't trust each other but then it also is like okay well why are these people even friends it's like literally a friendship dynamic that i think might have been good at one point just completely unraveling for the majority of this movie so the final twist really just kills any kind of tension that existed prior the performances are not that great they're not like abhorrently bad or anything i will say that because i've already talked about some solid performances the they again the performances aren't that great especially during the final act where you'll probably wish the movie ended 10 minutes ago and be thinking that the two people you have on your screen left probably shouldn't even be here you probably will wish they didn't get as much focus as they, as they got in the movie and since everyone is sharing the screen for so much in the movie it's really hard to care about anyone in the group and their development is pretty much non-existent as a result as well but when they are all unlikable i guess that takes care of that anyway i guess <laughs> pete davidson delivers one of the best monologues i've heard all year in regards to current social trends people shaping themselves around those trends to fit in and just an overall spot on dialogue that many people will say yep that's gen z in a nutshell I wouldn't say I like the movie, but it's not the worst thing ever. It's satire again, of course, more than anything, and it just didn't really strike a chord with me, unfortunately. There are moments of this movie that I really enjoyed, and it does have some some highlights, but it also has a lot of like things that make you cringe and just be like, oh, why is this still on my screen? Some moments are funnier than, or funnier than others, so job well done in the humor department. Sadly, the dialogue does become so buzzword heavy and politically driven that the humor gets old pretty quick as the movie goes on. Pacing wise, I would say Bodies, Bodies, Bodies is able to deliver an engaging story that does drag at certain points. And there are like some sequences, like for starters, one sequence at the beginning that I felt that was dragging off for way too long, involving two people kissing. So 
it's just never a dull moment there it really doesn't drag once it gets to that middle act and there's, there's no dull moments in between so i will commend the movie for successfully building tension and keeping you guessing even though by the end it's like ah well i guess this was all for nothing the writing definitely nails it with how it depicts gen z even though not everyone in g because i'm i'm in gen z not everyone in this generation acts like this so for someone like me that's probably that's probably why a lot of what was on my screen is very unattractive to look at and again a lot of moments were more cringy to me than others so but it is it's funny it is funny it's again engaging it has a good enough amount of gore and thankfully there are some stand-up performances like pete davidson and rachel sinnett who is just so incredible in her role i wish we got to see more of her character and flesh that character out a little bit more although at times due to the direction of the movie it makes it seem like she was out of place with some of the way she was acting because i'm thinking of one sequence in a gym i believe they were in where the performance is in the line delivery it's just so awful that it takes me out of the movie at times and i think many of you will be in the same boat the movie honestly is just a big giant recognition of gen z this movie is spot on with certain things that happen right now as far as the current climate in the social community economics everything else but if you want to call this movie woke this would probably be the best movie to deem woke there really is no qualities about this movie that i i think i would want to revisit outside of again maybe down the road saying hey you know i'll watch bodies 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 again it wasn't the worst thing i've seen but it also just was not all that good i will say if i'm being honest if you want to know what my rating for this is i'm giving it a 5.5 out of 10 i'm very in the middle with this movie so many things where i saw i saw hope but then a lot where it was just constantly dragging itself back down. And I don't think I'm missing the point of the movie. I just think that the movie's point might have been a little bit too heavy handed. The humor probably was a little bit too too heavy and they probably should have leaned more onto the horror aspects of it because there is some moments of great tension building but then there's this final twist it's like one final middle finger i would say to gen z uh that's just like oh well that was all for nothing but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications in this video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video